got Coach Cooper. Coach Foley should be out shortly, and we'll have to play the next coach. How's it going? Ooh. Hey. Ooh. All right. What? Oh, man. You know, you're a week into camp, um, yeah. and obviously, you know, at some point you got to kind of make a depth chart. I'm not asking for that, but yeah. what are the separators? What are the things that you're looking at to decide who's one, who's two, who's three, who's two? Uh, just consistency, you know? Being an everyday guy, being the same guy every day, um, you know, it'll get, it gets tough during the season. I just want to see who I'll be able to count on. That's it. Those guys that show up every day, those are the guys who I want to go to war with. Man, I to you about positional flexibility with when and Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. uh, like I said before, those guys, they're all just DBs, you know. I want to get them all ready. You know, I might need Malcolm at safety. I might need Quentin at safety at, at some point. I may need Tommy at safety at some point. So as much, the more that they can do, the more they can do. So I just want to cross train them and make sure that they know what they're doing. If I have to throw them in an emergency case, something like that. that be Rover too? Uh, the Rover's a little different. I kind of cross train the safeties at Rover, but the rest of it is all the same thing. Uh, Coach Rubel mentioned that Tommy has been a big turnaround yeah. guy. What's that picture look like? Consistency, you know, I think that's where it starts. You know, those guys just coming and showing up, being the same guy every day, attacking it, trying to work hard, you know, trying to be the brand that we set for ourselves. And I think he's done that. Uh, quite honestly, I think the entire group's done that. So I like the direction that we're headed in. Evan, what do you see from Gifford? Everything I need to see. Uh, he's tough, he's competitive, he works his butt off, he's relentless, he's disciplined, he's a violent player. Um, He's the captain of that, of that group. You know, he's trying to push us to somewhere we haven't been. So I appreciate that from him. From fall to spring or from like spring? From, yeah. yeah, 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 for sure. Uh, he's growing more, com more confident in himself and, uh, and he's stepping out of his shell a little bit more, you know, getting on the guys and trying to push him. Like I said, he wants it really bad. You know, he wants it as bad as I do. And he's bringing the group along. So, yeah, it's been good. How have you seen, there's been some, this has been a tough camp, maybe a little bit different for some of the players. How have you seen them manage, um, not the dorm stuff, but, but just the stuff out on the field so far? It's all the same to these guys. They attack every single moment, every play, every day, every week. It's all the same. And um, that's where I'm just trying to get the mindset to. Just attack everything. Whatever's in front of me, I attack it. And that's it. That's where we're headed. How are they doing with that? Like, have you? I've been pleased. No, no, I've been pleased, you know? I think from the time we got here in November to now, we set the expectations out. And um, we, the coach, as coaches, we set the standard. And I just expect the players to raise the standard. You know, they can meet the standard because the coaches won't tolerate less than that. But I think they need to go over the standard. And I think that's what we've been trying to do, especially with Giff and Quentin and Malcolm and those guys. They've been trying to push it. Tommy. Failing those girls, they, they, they work. Deshaun, those guys are working, so you'd be proud of the effort. How do you talk about uh, Corey Collier? He has a lot of football in him, but he can get out of him. Yeah. What do you mean by that? What do you mean? Just the everyday grind. You know how it is. Some people are ready uh, for, uh, before others. You know, it takes some time for some people. Um, he's just attacking it every day. You know, I'm proud of his effort. He's been working, fighting through some injuries, and that's it. That's all I can ask for. No, I have zero problems with Corey's physicality. He is a physical person. He wants to be tough. He wants to be physical. Zero problems with that. It's just a day-to-day -day grind, you know. All players go through it. It's just a day-to-day. How have you seen some of those young guys jump into the mix? Anybody standing out? Yeah, yeah, all of the young guys. You know, they just fall right in line. When you have leadership at the top, but the way we do, those guys just follow. They fall right in line. They don't really know something different. They just know what Giff is doing and what Deshaun's doing and what Quentin's doing, what Tommy's doing, what, what Phelan is doing. You know, they just go. They jump right into it and they go. They follow. Is Eric uh, Fields an interesting piece at Rover? Yeah. I, I love Eric Fields. Eric Fields is like the other, the, the other freshman trying to figure it out. Uh, but he's 1,000 miles per hour. He works his butt off and he's learning. So I'm excited about where he's going. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think Omar could be one of our better players. Uh, again, the day in, day out. You know, he's trying. He's working at it. Uh, he's very gifted, you know, and we'll pull him through it. We'll pull him through it. He's just got to keep working, and that's it. You have a good mix of talent and experience. Yeah. Do you have any idea of how many guys can rotate into a given game? Uh, so right now, we, I'm just trying to lay the foundation as far as training camp is concerned. I'm not really worried about the depth chart. You know, those things, they play, it'll play itself out all the way through season. Like, midway through the season, I won't know, you know. And we'll just keep working at it, keep shuffling it around, and just see who's available and who's accountable. And then we'll go from there. Yeah, Tommy's been through a lot of adversity. He's had a lot of practice bouncing back. And uh, the light bulb is going on, you know. I haven't seen him in a game situation, so I can't fully tell. But I like the direction he's headed in, and we'll see where, where it lands. One more, yeah. No, go ahead. I'm sorry. You mentioned that it was kind of a competitive group. Yeah. How do you kind of balance that competitiveness and practice with, you know, lifting up the teammates and teaching you like these guys are? I like the fuel of competitive fire. I want them to be competitive. I want them to fight nail and tooth and claw and scratch for everything they get. I want them to compete at everything because that's what life is, just showing up and competing. That's it. So that's how the room is going, and that's what I mean. I'm excited about it. I'm looking forward to seeing them. You've been around the world a lot um, in your, your lifetime and in your coaching career. Yeah. How would you assess him at this moment? Like, how do you feel like he's, he sees this team and this camp? Man, so I've been around him a long time, and I've been around him long enough to let you know that it's just day to day. I don't think he's looking at big picture right now, even though it, in some cases that's his job. I just think it's day to day, just meeting, practice, to meetings, to walk through, to meetings, to dinner, to snack, and just one moment at a time. That's how coach is thinking about it. Do you, I, do you, uh, I'm sure you've been around coaches who aren't like that too. Right. What do you like about his approach to staying very much in the right. I believe what he believes. I think that's the only way. I think you look too far ahead, it get overwhel it could get overwhelming. You know, I think you just take attack it every day, every play, every second, and just try to maximize the time you have. How have you guys done with uh, takeaways and uh, say that, I'm sorry. Takeaways just in practice and you have you like, like turn up like yeah, yeah. okay, what say that again? Just how have you guys done with it and uh, just that challenge you put forth with the guys. Yeah. Still working at it, still trying to punch the ball out, still getting on the jugs, you know. We don't want to miss very many opportunities, so we're just working at it, you know, trying to put that up, up at the top of the priority list, trying to get the ball over, get, uh, turn the ball over, get takeaways. How has uh, learning the 3 3 5 been for you? How has that affected how you coach uh, your uh, Anytime there's something new, you know, I just attack it, just like I ask my players to do. Um, it's a secondary is a secondary, cover three is cover three. Quarters is cover is quarters. Cover two is man's man. So small adjustments here and there, but it's all just football. You know, expanding my knowledge base. That's it. Can I say one thing? All right. Evan and Madison, your dad loves you, and I'm proud of you. Can't wait to see you. Thanks, Good. Thanks,